Hi, I'm Dwayne. Hopefully I'm going to be doing a few bushcraft videos. To start with, uh, I thought I'd just show you a simple, quick and easy and fun idea that I've come up with. And it's bushcraft bolts. All you need is a stick, an inch, maybe a bit, a bit thicker. It's up, up to you how thick you want to make it. And then what you need to do, I'm just going to do this all with a Swiss Army pen knife. It's, easy, it's an easy little uh, carving job. And it'd be ideal for the kids. It's great fun. And when I say kids, I mean kids of all ages. If you get a straight section of stick, it off. This is the Swiss Army camper which comes with a little saw on it as well which is very useful for small jobs. And again ideal for getting the kids going. Just cut that off. Put it off there. piece that we need. So once we've got this piece, all we do, we take the main blade, it's not the ideal knife for battening with and you do need to be careful doing this, but it's not a, not a big piece of wood so it does cope with it pretty easily. You split it into two, like that, and then you slice that and carve it into the bow of the bolt. And if you notice, I'm keeping the knife still and pulling back on the wood. You've got the centre line in the wood there, which gives you the ideal line to, to line the centre of the bow up with. Just take that back off since it's falling off anyway. The stick is a little bit damp, but it should still work. So we take that down, down to the middle, like so. Just give the, the bolt its point let's try and get it reasonably even each side and what I like to do is I like to just take off a bit off that way as well that's kind of like sharpening half a pencil and as we do then if you use the little brad hole thing on the knife just hold it with your finger right up against it like that then it's not not going to slip and cut you because it is quite sharp that and you spread all the hole near the front like so and it's this little tool it's not actually a brad hole I don't think but it does do a very good job little things like this so now I've got the hole I just need to find a twig One should do. Timmy, over here, come on. Come on. Just cut out a nice straight section of it.
so. If you just put a blunt -ish point on the end of that, eh? knocks nicely into there and there's your bolt now for streams that is ideal you just pop, pop it in the stream you can make a few of them you can race them play poo sticks if you've got a bridge but obviously not much use if you're not by a stream and moving water So if you, not by moving water, if you buy a lake or something, just take a leaf, pop it over there like that, pop it, just poke, poke a hole in it, point it through, It's another hole in it, at the other side, make sure the leaf's nice and pointed, uh, nice and curved, and straight towards the front of the bolt like that. And you've got a little sailboat which do work very well as so long as it's going into the wind it won't cross the wind or go against the wind but as so long as it's going with the wind they go quite well but if you want to improve on it even more as a sailboat if you cut now this is a bit where you do need to be careful for your fingers so watch the kids with this one with this bit just cut in at the back like that so that you've got a slot in the back there. And if you take a piece of birch bark, cut a small section out of it, and just cut that rough bit off the top first. Oh, a decent piece, that bit there should do. Let's cut that out. Like that. And then, you'll probably find that that's quite a loose fit. So what you'll need to do, is just fold over the end, of the birch bark, If you fold it at a bit of an angle, you'll find it will fit the slot, slot that bit better and just make it a bit straighter. And that, if you just hold that, fold it over like that, tucks into there, and you've got a little rudder on it. So when the wind blows it, that rudder will help to keep it straight. So it won't be swinging about in the wind. This is a bit where you need to be careful putting the mast back in because you don't want to be knocking your rudder out again. There we go. A little bushcraft sailing boat. So the only thing to do now is take it down to the stream. And let's see what it goes like. There we are. There's no, no wind, so I can't really test the sail at the moment. Just pop it in the water. And there we go. A little bushcraft boat. I think you might be being a tad optimistic with that one, Tim. I think Timmy's trying to make a boat as well. 
So there you go, a little bushcraft boat. Not very practical, but good fun for kids of all ages. You don't need to, if you're just using a stream, you don't need to mess about with the keel and the, the sail on it, just pop it straight in the water. You can have fun racing them down the stream, racing them under bridges, see which one comes out first, playing poo sticks or whatever. It's, like I say, great fun for kids of all ages. My kids love it, I love it, it's all good fun. As you may notice, I fell in the stream playing with the boats, but hey, that's half the fun, isn't it? So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I'll get the next one on soon, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Let's go home.